Okay, let's go ahead now and have a look at how we can use uh, Bullet Dynamics with FX Metalink. What I've done is I've made this chain and I've placed that in the background and I want to create a two point poly chain. So I'll go over and create a box and drag that out. And we'll add some segments with the right arrow. Alternatively, you could go into the numeric panel and just punch it in there and hit enter. Okay, go back up to here, flip the polys. Okay, the next thing I, I want to do um, is create a weight map. Now this weight map is important. Um, whichever polys have the weight map associated to them will deform and those that don't will be used as an anchor. So I want this poly here to be the anchor so I'm going to select all the rest of these and go over to map, new weight map and I've already done this so I've got it written out, create and close that off and if I go to the weight shade you can see that our weight map is on all the polygons um, other than this one here. Alright, so next step is to select the top row of points and delete that. So now we have our two point poly chain. Let's hit F2 to center that. Now, if you want to um, go ahead and edit the weight map at any stage, it's quite simple. We just do a, an extrude, Shift E, and we'll extrude that up hit enter and that way we can see all our polygons again and we can go ahead and select and do everything that we need to do but I'm happy with this so we'll delete those and I'll hit save so now we have our two point poly chain and our chain chain so we'll go ahead now and uh, bring it into layout and set it all up there okay here we are in layout and um, I've got my two objects first thing I'll do is I'll just hide the chain and let's have a look okay so now we've got our two point poly chain with our weight map and our anchor point what we can now do is go over to FX tools I'll bring up the world properties and we can just add it as a deforming object next step we need to do is go over to the shape and to the mesh filter we need to choose that weight map that we created once that's done if I go over here to hit the end in the timeline oops and there we have it there we have our two point poly chain deforming with bullet dynamics I mean it's at this stage I guess that you can tweak it and adjust it and whatever to get it exactly how you like but um, I'm happy with that so I can um, just close off this window and hit P for properties for the two point poly chain what I want to do is I want to bake uh, this two point poly chain to an uh, MDD file so if we go to deform add displacement MD Baker double click on that yeah and I just I've already done this so I've got that set up I'll hit save hit OK and hit go so now we've basically got an MDD file of this two point poly chain you can turn that off go over to the world properties and I'm going to turn that off close this off you can see nothing's happening but here's the trick to getting FX meta link to work what we need to do is for the two point poly chain go over to FX Add FX, add cloth, click on that, go over to file and load in that uh, MDD file that we just created. Hit open and there we have it. We've got our two point poly chain animated with uh, bullet dynamics. So we've got that done. Next step very simply is to grab the chain and we'll turn that back on so we can see it and parent that to the two point poly chain and select it hit P for properties under deform we go over to add displacement and we choose FX meta link and there we have it we have our chain
attached to our two point volley chain. And there we go. And it's deforming really nice. Works a lot better than the, the standard cloth effects. So there you have it. I hope it's helped. Um, and uh, good luck.